Hi everyone, I'm Mel and welcome to episode 12 of our Baby Bunting Live series. Tonight I am joined by Nick from Silvercross who will be going through a couple of their prams tonight. We are running another giveaway. All you got to do is just jump onto our Facebook Live feed and just tell us any of your favourite features on any of the prams tonight to go into the running to win a Silvercross Pioneer Pram in Henley, which is just behind me. Once again, please put any questions that you have in the comments section and we will answer them at the end or a team member, or a team member will get back to you later on. Now I hand over to Nick who will go through the prams. Thanks Mel. Hi guys. Um, we're super excited to be here at Baby Bunting tonight to go through our range of prams. A little bit of history on the brand. Um, Silvercross is the oldest brand, um, nursery brand in the world. So we're celebrating 143 years this year. Um, it's an English brand, but now global. So we've been in Australia for the last 14 years. Um, we're still the official suppliers to the royal family. And our probably most famous stockist is Harrods in England. So I'm gonna talk you through a few features and benefits of our prams tonight. Um, any questions just post on the feed below. So tonight I'm going to start with the Pioneer Orkney and then I'm going to talk you through the Pioneer Henley. So it's the same pram um, but just different fabrics and colours. So I'll talk you through how the Orkney works and the Henley works exactly the same but just a different coloured fabric. So when you buy a silver cross pram, um, the prams always come with the bassinet and the seat unit. So I'll talk you through the bassinet first of all. Um, so this is how it looks um, with your newborn baby. So your newborn uses the bassinet for six months or nine kilos. Um, depends on whichever comes first. Um, all our bassinets are lined with bamboo. So we've got this beautiful um, bamboo fabric inside the interior, which not only regulates temperature, it has antibacterial properties, but also um, is super comfortable for baby as well. All the prams are super easy to use as well. You can see they literally just click in and slot in like Lego. Super easy to remove and to slot back in. Um, all the fabrics have got factor 50 sun protection in there as well. Um, and they've also got added ventilation. So if I turn the pram around this way, you can see um, if it's a warm day, you can get airflow through the pram. So you can lift up this fabric here now all the fabrics have magnets in, so if you lift up this fabric here, the magnet in the peer view window fabric will hold that down, um, and then you can get the airflow through the pram there. And then obviously in winter or the colder weather, you can pop that back down. We have a peer view window here. Now we don't allow this to be up permanently because that would affect your factor 50 sun protection. It's literally a peer view window just to check on your child um, when you're peering in from the back. They've also got this beautiful sun visor as well. So you can see here, you can pull the fabric down from the inside and that gives you additional sun protection as well. You can keep that down or you can pop that back away on the roof of the pram there. Um, the handles are super easy to adjust. So at the touch of a button on the handlebar, you can adjust it to the suitable height and they do go really nice and tall on the silver cross prams and then adjust it back down if you've got someone more petite pushing the pram. All of the prams come with all the accessories as well. So you get the matching change bag on the Henley and the Orkney. And the change bag actually comes with bottle warmer, changing mat, and just attaches to the back of the pram here with these clips. Or you can unclip and use it as a, a bag. Um, the, or it also comes with rain cover and cup holder as well. So the cup holder can move from left to right, depending on whether you're left or right handed. It can just unclip and move across. Um, and then once your child outgrows the bassinet, we'll move them into the seat unit. When you are using the bassinet as well, I'll just point out, if you did need to put it on the floor, it's got this beautiful rubber bottom, so it's not gonna damage if you were popping it down on the car park floor, but it's also got feet as well, so it stays nice and protected. So once you're finished with the bassinet, we're gonna move them into the seat unit. So nine kilos or six months. So I'll pop, get the seat off Mel move this across. Okay, so this is how it looks in seat mode. Um, so the seat mode goes from six months or nine kilos up to 25 kilos. So it can take quite a lot of weight. Um, it's also got a two position hood on the Pioneer as well. So it really does grow with your child. So you can unclip the hood unit here and then it moves up to a second position. So as your child gets taller, the hood will grow 
um, with your baby. Um, you also get a beautiful liner with the Henley and the Orkney as well, which is reversible. So in winter, you'll use it on this side, which is super comfy and warm. And then in summer, you can reverse it to match the same fabrics and have it on this side as well. On the Henley and the Orkney, um, this, they're called our special edition pioneers. And what that means is the fabric is a higher grade fabric than our standard pioneers. You also get tonal um, aluminium um, metalwork as well. So rather than just being the silver brushed aluminium, you can see here, this is a beautiful blue color. And then you also get the different colored leatherette handles as well. Now you can do different recline positions. So normally at around six months, um, your baby will be in this recline position. Now I'm moving that with this lever on the back here. So if you can see, you just lift the lever there and that does you different recline positions, which there are three. So this is fully reclined. So you'd find your baby goes in there at six months and then as their head support gets stronger, you can do the different positions. So it can go up slightly and then fully sat upright as they get older. Then when your child gets a little bit older, maybe around 12 months, you find that they wanna face the world. You lift and remove any of the units with these handles here. So you just lift them up like that and pull it up. And then pop that like that, that way. And then again, you've got those different recline positions depending on if baby wants to sleep or sitting up as well. Now to get your child in and out, all these winter fabrics come with the pram as well, which are removable. And also the bumper bars removable on the bassinet and the seat, which make it easier to get your child in and out. It can come off fully or you can do it either side. And the fabrics, again, have also got magnets in, so on a windy day, they are held in place by those magnets as well. Now, we do get asked a lot, can I collapse the frame with the seat on? You absolutely can, but the pram has, the seat has to be in this position. So facing forward in the upright position, and you can collapse the frame with the seat on. Now, I'll take the seat off just to show you the movements of the collapse, and then I'll also do it with the seat on so you can see. So to remove the seat again, you lift these levers either side and just pull that up. And then when you collapse in the pram, we always advise that you lock those front wheels. Now to lock the front wheels, there's just a clip here that you pop in like that. And then the other side as well. Now that just ensures that you're protecting your chassis and it sits neatly in the car. And then there are circles here that you put your fingers in and then you push this button here on the front and you lift up both of the levers like that and then the pram just goes down super easy like that so it's really really easy to collapse and then there's a lever on this side here that you just unhook and then just pull it up like that so it's really really easy now the frame weighs seven and a half kilo so really lightweight and then when you've got the seat on it weighs 11 kilo because your seat unit weighs three and a half kilo so I'll show you how to collapse it with the seat on. You would also lock those front wheels if you were going on multi-terrain, so parks, playgrounds, grass, just so the wheels can handle the bumps better as well. So to collapse it with the seat on, you just pull those handles up again and then just collapse down. Now that's 11 kilos, so I, have, I had a baby 11 weeks ago and had caesarean and I still find that's pretty easy to lift. So you can lift it like that, and I tend to find if I put the weight of the pram on my thigh, you can then just pop that in the boot. So you're not straining with your arms to pick it up. But if you do find that too heavy, you can remove the seat unit and you just lift in that seven and a half kilo. And then again, to release it, just unhook it there and pull it up. And that's the Pioneer. So that's the seat unit, the bassinet. Again, the accessories you get are seat liner, cup holder, rain cover, and also your matching nappy bag as well. So now um, I'll talk you through the Henley. So this is the Pioneer Orkney, which is in this blue color. And the Henley is this one here. So it's the exact same pram. It's got all the same features, all the same weights, works exactly the same. But also on the Henley, it's got this additional beautiful quilting. And also on the sun visor, the quilting as well. The colours on this one, hopefully you can see it um, over the um, internet, but it's like a beautiful grey aluminium um, with a dark brown leather handle as well. Tonight we're giving away one of these, a competition, um, so you'll be able to see how to enter on the Facebook page. But yeah, you can be up for the chance for winning the Henley tonight. So that's the Henley.
and now I'll talk you through our coast pram. Now the coast is a single pram, but it can turn into a double. The prams I've just shown are single prams. We can't have adapters on those. They don't turn into a double, they are a single pram. Thank you, Mel. So this is why we brought out the coast, because we had a lot of parents that would come to the, you know, visitors or come into Baby Bunting um, and ask if Silver Coast did a double. So we brought out the coast. Now the coast, when you buy it, it's exactly like the um, pioneers that I've just shown you. It works exactly the same, but I will go through it again. However, if you get pregnant again, you can buy a tandem seat, which adds to this and turns into a double. So this is the coast in single mode. Again, like the Pioneers, you get a bassinet and you get a seat unit with it. The handle adjusts exactly the same. So at the touch of a button here, you've got that different handle height as well. Again, your cup holder can move from left to right. Nice big sun visor on here. And the coast is really good because it's a really nice dark environment for baby to sleep as well. Um, so it's nice and um, dark in there. You can, again, you can move this bumper bar to get baby in. So it's just a lever there. You can take that off fully or you can do it like halfway and that just clips back in. Um, you can push that sun visor back if you're not wanting to use that. And then again, you've got that additional ventilation here that you can lift up with the magnet in this fabric. So you can lift that up there, hold that down and get your airflow through the pram as well. Same weight supply, so your baby will be in this bassinet from six months or nine kilos, and then you'd move them to the seat unit. Another feature that I love about this pram is when you've got your bassinet on your pram, you have access, obviously, to your basket. However, when if you wanted to get more access to that basket with the coast, because it can be a double pram, you've got adapters on here that are always on the pram. They don't come off. So you press in this grey button here, like that, and flick that over, and then this one here, and you can have the bassinet in a higher position. So if you're particularly tall or you just want baby closer to you, you can pop it into double mode, pop the bassinet on here, and have baby in that higher position, but also gives you more access to fit more shopping in your basket as well. So that's a really good feature on the coast that I like. The coast can also take a ride on the skateboard as well. Um, so we do have a skateboard that you can purchase that would attach to the bottom of the pram here. Um, so you can do three children or you might do your first child, have a bigger gap and then add the skateboard on. Um, so it's a really flexible pram for that first time parent. Um, so that's a bassinet in the higher position and then you can put it down in the normal position if you wanted. So to do that again, you're just flicking these adapters over like that. While I've got the bassinet off, I'll just show you the brake feature as well. So it's actually awesome in summer if you're wearing sandals. Um, you don't have to operate the brake with the front of your toe. It operates from the base of your foot. So you can wear sandals or even be barefoot and it's not going to hurt your toe when you're releasing the brake, which is awesome. So it's red to stop and then just green to release. All the wheels on Silver Cross prams are polyurethane. So that's a hard rubber compound which is never gonna, it's puncture proof, it's never gonna damage. Um, so it's awesome to have those wheels on there as well. Now to lock the wheels on the coast, it's a little bit different than the Pioneer. You actually push the button down rather than in. So you just flick that down there and that locks those front wheels like that. And then to collapse it, it's exactly the same as a Pioneer. If you can work one silver cross, you can work them all. So you push in the buttons again here, like that pull those up and then just click down. When you hear it click, that's locked in. Um, and again, it's the same release button here just to release the frame. So it's super easy to lift that up again. Now the frame on the coast is heavier than the Pioneer. This weighs 10 kilograms. It's gotta be slightly heavier so it can hold the weight of the two children. Um, so I'll show you now the coast with the seat on. So let's get the seat which is here. So when you buy um, a Pioneer or a Coast, you get the bassinet, a seat, but you get one hood. So that hood would actually move across depending on whatever unit you're using. So obviously you can see it without the hood here, but this is how it would look with the hood as displayed on the tandem seat, which I'll talk you through in a moment. So you don't clip it from the bassinet onto the seat when you've finished using the bassinet. 
and then you'd have the seat unit. So you also get one bumper bar as well, so you'd move the bumper bar across. Now with the coast, rather than the um, four fur liner with the Pioneer Special Editions, the liner on the coast is bamboo. So again, it's got the antibacterial climate regulating um, qualities and also super comfortable, but also it's reversible as well. So you can either go for this beautiful black and gray look or you can turn it over and have the old black look as well, depending on what style you like. Um, so the seat unit works like the Pioneer again. So you can see here, you've got this lever on the back that you release to do those three different recline positions. You can also adjust the calf support as well. So you just push those buttons in and you can do the different calf positions for your child too. Um, and then again, the three different positions. And again, like the Pioneer, you can turn this way too. Um, you can flick that over and you've got your different recline positions again. Then if you get pregnant again, this pram is awesome because you can buy a tandem seat from Baby Bunting, which I'll show you now, um, and turn this into a double pram. So all you do is you purchase the tandem seat, which is here. Now these adapters, as I said, are always on the pram. They don't come off. So you put, push this grey button in here, flick that over like so and then this one too. And this is now turning the pram into your double. Now when you buy the tandem seat, you get another hood with that and you get all the accessories again. So you get a rain cover, mosquito net, seat liner. It comes with all the accessories. The cost also comes with mosquito nets. Unlike the Pioneer, this has mosquito nets with it as well. So every accessory you can imagine comes with the prams. Now, you also get the adapters with the tandem seat. They don't come with the pram as a single. You have to buy the tandem seat to get the adapters to turn it into a double. So these ones are to elevate the bassinet into higher position. So a lot of mums, when they have a second child, always want newborn up here and toddler facing out. Because the child's been facing out you know, for, for quite a while, they don't just suddenly want to stare into the back of, of a bassinet. They potentially want to face outwards. And we find that's a really popular position um, with mums. So you have to put these adapters in this section here. Now you only use these adapters, and they do say carry cot adapter, when you're elevating the bassinet. You don't use them when you're doing two seats, but I'll go through that with you as well. So these clip in here, so you can elevate the bassinet. And then you also get these adapters as well, which turn the pram into a double now. Now to help you, they do have um, left and right on them, but it's when you're at the back of the pram. So it's left here and right there. So they clip on easily here. If you find you're forcing them, you're doing it wrong because it's really easy. They literally just glide on that section there. Um, so your bassinet can go up here, like so. And then your tandem seat. Now the tandem seat and the main seat are the exact same seat, However, the tandem seat has got these curved legs. Now that always takes bottom position down here and you can have it facing inwards or outwards. But the most popular position we find is toddler facing out. So that clips in there like that. And again, you can adjust that calf support there and you've got your double pram. Now what I love as well, um, some double prams in market, when you have it as a double pram, you lose your basket. But with the Silver Cross Coast, you still have access to put things in your basket, which is awesome as well. Now, if this child wanted to have a sleep, you can turn it round this way, like that. And then that allows you to get that recline position for both children to have a sleep. And again, you can do the different positions there. Now, once your second child is older than six months or nine kilos, you can go to the two seats. But also, before we do that, sorry, if you wanted to put bassinet down here and toddler up here, you can do that as well. So I'll show you how to do that. So when you're doing that, you do not need the bassinet elevators. So you can take these out. And you can put your bassinet down here if you wanted to. So sometimes you might find if you're little ones had, your toddlers had injections or just needs mummy and your baby's asleep, you can move the units around. So now you can have your newborn who's asleep down here and toddler up here. And again, you can
can do the, they can both get asleep in that position as well. And then, as I said, once your newborn's grown, your second newborn has grown out of the bassinet, we can go to two seat units. So I'll show you how that works as well. Now the coast has got 27 configurations and that's when you've got two seats and the ride on board. So there's lots of configurations you can do. The only configuration we don't do is two children facing each other. Um, and there's a good reason for that, being a mum of five. Um, you can then do two kids facing mum and dad like this. And that just clips in like that. And again, you can do, they can both get a sleep in that position like that. Um, you can do two kids opposite, so one facing outwards and one facing mum and dad, like this, like that. And again, they can both get asleep in that position as well. Or you can do both facing parent, which I'll show you as well. Now you can collapse the frame with the seat with one of the seats on. But again, like the Pioneer, has to be in that upright position and facing forward. Um, so that's all the positions with the seats. Um, i trying to think anything else you may want to know about the cost. The cost can hold 35 kilos in weight. Um, so that's the two children. You can split that however you want. So you might have 9 kilo, 15 kilo in the bassinet, 15 kilo in a seat. So it's 35 kilo in weight in total it can hold. Um, okay, any questions? We do have a question yep. from Sabrina on Instagram yep. as to whether the coast comes with a foot warmer. No, we don't do a foot warmer for this one. Um, it just comes with the seat liner and the other accessories I mentioned. So mosquito net, rain covers, cup holder, um, seat liners, but we don't do the winter fabrics on this one. Dana on Facebook would like to know if you can put a capsule on the coast. You can. All, all Cross PAMs are travel system compatible. Um, so we're compatible with two brands, so Maxi Cose and Nuna Pippa. You just need, so you just need to buy adapters that would click in here, and then you can add your capsule. And can the Pioneer be used as a dual pram? No, Pioneer is just a single pram, hence why we brought the cost um, into. So you can buy the cost as a single pram and add to it when you're ready, or you could buy it straight off as a double by buying the tandem seat straight away. But the Pioneer pram is just a single pram that can never be made into a double. And can the cost be used for twins? Um, yes, it can. You can do um, two capsules on here if you wanted to, but it doesn't do two bassinets. Well, thank you, Nick, for your You're time welcome. tonight. That was wonderful. And thank you, everyone, for watching. We will see you Wednesday night for another exciting live. Have a wonderful night. Thank you.